Welcome to the Nathan.net. In this video, I'm going to install CentOS 7 Minimal on a virtual machine. So let's get started. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a new virtual machine. And I have a local ISO, so that's what I'm going to use. The ISO image. into a seven now I'm gonna go with two gigs on this one and two CPUs I could always adjust that later and I'm gonna do 20 gigs that's good It's not creating the disk and it's going to start it up. I have my Fedora 29 updating in the background, so that may be slowing things down a little bit, at least on the I.O. side of things. Oh, popped over the other screen. All right. Now we're going to go all the way to the top, and I can't really see it's highlighting, but it should see install CentOS 7. Now this screen's kind of just a basic screen. It's just asking you uh, language and some of this is keyboard layout stuff, but I'm going with the defaults. And for the time zone, I'm going to select right over here. Keyboard's good, language good, software's good, the minimal install's good. Let's just go see what partitioning it's going to do. And it's going to use the whole disk, which is good. Uh, network is not, but we can begin the installation now. And it wants you to set a root password and yep, they're easy passwords there. And this is the spot where you can add a user. And I'm just gonna call this one Nathan. And make admin. We won't require a password. Um we will put one though. I normally would not use a password this week, but I decided to do that for this video. Click done. And it was installing some stuff in the background, so that should keep running. All right, so the install is complete. That took actually about 40 minutes, which is about four times longer than I expected it to take because I'm also recording and updating Fedora VM on the same disk here, and it's not a very fast disk. So now what we come to is the reboot part. So we will reboot.
it's the next day and let's start this back up oh, I guess I gotta hit the play button there we go all right Ah, remember my password. We're going to fix that first. Bear with me. On boot, no. That's how we'll test DNS. The next thing I'll do is I'm going to install some commands that are missing. So we'll let it update here. And actually, before it updates, we'll install the commands. So what I'm doing here is I'm looking for packages that aren't existing on this system because it's just the base install. So what we did to get the network running on the minimal was just change that uh, network device to be on boot yes, and then we just did an if up. Now I'm going to install some stuff and do an OS update. So I want to install NetTools. And I also want to install Bind Utils. That's going to get me some of the stuff that I wanted. And all the dependencies for that. And we'll just tell it yes. Alright, so now we have those. The next thing I'm going to do is do a sudo yum update. And I'm going to tell it yes, and then from this point I'll speed it up. Okay, now I'm going to need SSH installed on this one, and I don't see it on this list so what we're going to do is I can find my mouse um, I'm going to query RPM and then grep for SSH and it's there I can't function without a tab complete All right. there we go CTL we will fix that We'll run that with sudo, and then we also want to make sure tune D is enabled. And we'll set up tune. All right. And we're going through this. This is a virtual guess so we'll do profile and there we go so now I want to reboot this one just to make sure it's going to come back up on the network and that boots super fast All right, so now we should have if config in there, and I have a network. And this L and P. So the netstat L and P is listening numeric, and the process that it has. And I could see that it is listening on port 22. That's what I cared about. All right, well I have this set up. I'm going to actually probably clone this into a couple others. So I'll set the host name on this one, and I will uh, make some more. Thanks for watching. Bye.